All right, we're on hole number eight of the Southern Pines nine hole cup. We haven't made any mistakes. We haven't gotten anything special. We're just rolling through it. So we're on hole number eight. So let's go find out what hole number eight is. Hole number eight is a par three and it's the one we haven't played yet. So I know exactly which one that is. Hole number, hole number three, let's see. It is this one right here. There's a bunch of different ways to play this. My favorite way to play this in tournaments in Rookie is to try and get over here with my Guardian and start off on the green and take all of this stuff out of play. The other way you can play is you can start off right down here and you can come at it like this. That's, that's one way. You can start here, that's, that's another way. You can start over here and you can bring it through with Curl. And now when I first started playing and I got to this hole, this actually was the shot over here. I was using like a level three hammerhead. My sniper wasn't developed. And that was the club that I was using at that time. And with the, with the stuff that it has, you can get very close from over here. There is a fourth option that you can do is you can do a rough bump out of this with, especially if you're on one on one play and you get here and the winds are all jacked up. You can do a rough bump off of this rough right here and dribble out right here with an extra mile. It's not going to get you closer than maybe eight or nine yards, but if your opponent epically failed out here and you were having an issue, you could start up here and do a rough bump and it's guaranteed to get you closer. Or you could do the rough bump and dare your opponent to do better. But I think I'm going to, I want to do this shot right here. That's the shot that I want to do. And if I can't do that, I'm going to do this shot right here. So I'm going to take clubs accordingly. Yeah, our driver's not going to come into play. So this is all about, all about wood here. So let's switch this to a guardian. So if I can make that shot, I can do it with a guardian. And if I can't, I may switch to this bag, which has got a sniper and a quarterback. And we shouldn't need anything else. We don't necessarily need some big ball here. But I am going to use a quasar because it's going to give me a little more side spin. And we'll see where we're at. I may have to switch balls to get into the spot that I want up there with my guardian. And if I do, it's probably going to be a bigger ball, so I'll switch to a katana. I didn't change balls right there. I've played this hole enough that you drop here, you got the wrong clubs, you got the wrong ball, you just figure out how to play it. There's, there's multiple ways to get on this green. Here we go. Let's go first. There we go. There's my cutoff. So I am going to have to use a bigger ball, and I'm going to go with a Titan because i got tons of them. All right. We're right at the spot. Okay, 4-4 four, four at maximum club. It's 1.2 per ring, so there's 4-8, so it's a little shy of that. Isn't it perfect? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, what the heck was that? What was that? I did not short shoot that shot, and we're at maximum club. Maximum club for my guardian is 1.2 per ring, so that'd be 4.8. I moved it less than three rings. I'm on the rough. I never went close to the sand, even in the wind adjustment, and I ended up in the sand. What? What? I'm not exactly sure what happened right there. Our opponent's going for that curl shot over there and this is a this is a very popular way to get on this hole put on our backspin People laugh about that backspin, but that little bit of backspin is a lot. 
I mean, on any other club, that's really probably two or three backspin, if not more. This is all about hitting perfect. Hit it great to the left. And it went great to the left. Wow. I hate getting pars on par threes. I just ruined my round. There's two of the par fives in this course that people are going to struggle to get eagles on. And I've got a pretty good eagle shot on both of those. I can get eagle pretty much every time. So you get eagles on those every time. And the rest of these holes are pretty tough holes. And so dropping a shot like this on a par three is, is like, I mean, you can't recover from that. You can't recover <laughs> when you get a par on a par three. I mean, you may make up a shot somewhere and end up with the score, you know, the average score that you were looking for, but you're never, you're, you, you just can't recover when you hit pars on par threes. I have no idea what happened there. I'm going to have to go back and watch that video and see where I went wrong. <laughs> All right, that was hole number eight of the Southern Pines, nine hole cup. Thanks for watching.